So today I've got kind of a random unboxing to do. This is the NZXT Hades. They basically like dropped this off at our office and they were like, here's a sample, do whatever you want with it. So I figured I'll do what I do best, I'll unbox it. So this com computer case includes dual 200 millimeter intake fans, dual fan control, triple temperature display, wire management, and a black interior. I love black interiors. Now. I know nothing about this case. I have done zero research. So I'm going to be discovering everything about it as we go along. So if I say anything wrong, please forgive me. Make a comment in the comments and say I don't know what I'm talking about or something because the reality of it is I do not. Okay, so we have nine external five and a quarter inch bays, four internal three and a half inch hard drive bays and five external five and a quarter inch bays. So uh, hold on a minute, which one is it? Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, I don't get it. Seven expansion slots. We have cooling fan options. Thanks for that. It is included one 200 millimeter fan, one 120 millimeter fan, one 200 millimeter fan, and another 140 millimeter fan is included for the top. Dimensions, etc., etc., etc. A bunch of different languages. Okay, let's flip this around. And the latest hardware is supported, including room for 300 or 30 centimeter cards like the ATI 5970. Okay. Oh, I get it. Here we go. Here we go. So you can either have nine five and a quarter inch bays or five five and a quarter inch bays and four three and a half inch internal bays. Cool. I get it. Control the flow, gaming, overclocking, or office work. The dual eight watt per channel fan control allows control over the dual 200 millimeter fans that spin up to 150 C CFM each. Monitor your system, etc., etc., etc. Wire routing, pre drilled water cooling holes on the back plate. Front mounted, oh, that's also for office work, by the way. Okay, so I mean, this computer case is clearly not for office work. Now, they did not drop it off unopened, and I haven't opened it since, so it's still technically an unboxing, even though I'm not actually breaking any seals. I know I'm bending the rules, but what are you gonna do? Let's flip this baby open, or flip it open, flip it over, and get it opened up. So, this is the Hades. So, I think I'm turning it right side up right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the styrofoamies off. Oh, that's a pretty small case, actually. So this is clearly a mid-tower. It's not a full tower. It's not a micro ATX tower. Take the... Oh, that's kind of nice looking, actually. Okay, so one thing about NZXT cases that you will notice right away is that they are not subtle. They do not take sort of the, the conventional approach when it comes to the aesthetics. So you can see this is a very sort of forward-leaning design. It's very bold. It has a front door, which is... Okay, you can look right through it. So that is a mesh front door that's going to give you the best possible airflow because that's what this case is clearly all about, is delivering great airflow. Once again, you can see here at the front, this is all mesh, and I'm, I'm not sure if there's some kind of a filtration system there or not, but we'll get to that later. Okay, so here we have our four or five and a quarter inch bays. Here are our two fan controls. Okay, so you got a couple little knobbies there. That's kind of nice. There's your power button. Okay, and then I think that pretty much covers that. In terms of front panel connectors, you've got your two audio connectors. So you got headphones and microphone. You got two USB and one eSATA. Here on the top, we can see either two 140 millimeter fans or two 120 millimeter fans. It's nice that they give you the option for that. I really appreciate that. And then on this side, you can see clearly where the 200 millimeter fan is located. We got thumb screws included with the case, which is great because I do not have a screwdriver on me. I was not ready to take a panel off if I didn't, if it didn't have thumb screws. All right, so let's just slide that back. It's pretty standard as far as that goes. So again, more mesh here at the front. So that's going to be useful for air intake. I mean, if you got lots of graphics card power going on back here behind the panel, it's going to be great to have more air coming in this way. This is designed to blow down right on top of the graphics cards. It uses a three pin fan header. So you can plug that into either their fan controller or a motherboard header even. All right. So let's get that panel out of the way. Oh, it fell over. Okay. It's all good. Inside we will find a user's manual, which is black and white. There's nothing particularly exceptional about this, but it does give you some of the basics in terms of the case. It comes in a few different languages. Okay, so it shows you how to, how to remove the side panel. It shows you how to use some of the wire management features. It shows you how to install drives. Okay, inside here, oh, this is kind of neat, actually. Okay, well, let's take the other panel off so that we can have a better look. And you can see this one also has uh, mesh at the front for more air intake, which is great. Finish on the case is overall pretty good. 
I mean, it's not, uh, it's not the kind of finish that you'd see on something like a Silverstone, but it's a reasonably adequate sort of powder coating finish. You can see there's a little bit of uh, speckliness to it, so that will make it A, durable, and B, very fingerprint resistant, which is something that a lot of high-end cases actually overlook, and it drives me crazy. Okay, so here we've got the fan, the power connectors for our top 140 millimeter fan, which is included, as well as our rear 120 millimeter fan, and they've given you holes for 92 as well, which is pretty nice. Okay, and you can see these are connected by three pin, but you can also plug them into this uh, for Molex power. All right, here they've actually gone ahead and they've taken the front panel connectors, which is your eSATA, your um, your power your USB, all that stuff, and they've gone and they've routed it through the cable management holes for you and put it where it actually needs to go. So in addition to those other things that you, or to the standard stuff that you have here, you have a cup, what appears to be a temperature sensor for your hard drive. You've got a temperature sensor for your CPU and then one other just random one for SIS. Okay, you've got a couple more power, oh yeah, these are the power connectors for those fans. You've got your front audio. You've got your front USB, you've got your front eSATA. Okay, here you will find all of the accessories that you will need to mount a system in the Hades case. All right, so let's see what they've gone and included with this. Oh, I don't have my knife. Great. That's okay, I'll just break it. Oh, okay, I can't even break tape. That's pretty sad. Okay. Oh wow, lots of hardware here. Okay, so these are drive bay adapters. Thank you for that, it includes three of those, excellent. And I believe they've got one mounted already, so they've shown you how to do it just like that. You've got a whole bunch of thumb screws for mounting those things. There you go, there's a bucket of thumb screws as well as some hard drive screws. Okay, and then you've got all of your standard mounting hardware. So these black ones right here for mounting your optical drives, these silver ones are for mounting your motherboard, they've got motherboard standoffs which are the little brass kind. Okay, so that's all pretty standard. And oh, I love this. They've included a three and a half to two and a half inch hard drive adapter. So if you have an SSD drive or two, maybe, yeah, it looks like it might hold two, you can actually mount it in this case by default. And I've got terrible light here. I'm really sorry for that. Maybe if you move forward a little bit, we'll be able to see this better. Oh, they've included a bunch of zip ties too for cable management. That's nice. Okay, and then, uh, oh yeah, here at the front. So here at the front, that's why there's all that mesh there. Can you see through that way to the front fan? Oh, you can, oh, that's great. Okay, so there's the 200 millimeter fan that's included in the front that's blowing all through the case and can come way out the back to all the included mesh PCI brackets. It has a bottom mounted power supply. Here are your water cooling holes. It looks like you can probably use 3 8 inch tubing, but I wouldn't expect to get half inch tubing through those holes. Overall build quality of the case feels reasonably good. I mean, with value gaming cases, a lot of the time you see them cheap out on the steel or they'll, they'll cheap out on like a support brace here or something else there. I mean, really the standout features of this case are as follows. Black interior, You've got the CPU cutout for replacing CPU coolers with a backplate easily and quickly. You've got these wire management features. I love these things. Corsair kind of did it first with their Obsidian 800D, but I I love seeing sort of more value-oriented cases coming out that have this feature because it makes your wire management look so much tidier with zero effort. You've got toolless mounting for your five and a quarter inch bays. Okay, you just take those out and then you pop them back in wherever you want the drive to go. And that concludes my unboxing of the NZXT Hades case.